welcome. This is the South edition of the Property Show. This is a call-in show. You share your questions about investing in real estate and we advise you the best possible fit for your budget. Since this is the South edition, we'll cover Bengaluru, Chennai, Hyderabad, Mysore and all the best performing real estate markets down south. And Samir Jasuja, founder and MD of Prop Equity, is here to guide you through your property purchase decisions. Coming up today on the show, Whitefield, Bengaluru's preferred market for real estate investments. Walk to work homes near Bengaluru's electronic city within 50 lakhs. Hyderabad's high tech city and Gachi Bauli lets help you find residential properties nearby within 50 lakhs. Where to buy real estate in Mysore, be it residential or investment, in a budget of 55 lakhs. Chennai's Ambatur IT hub is this market living ready? And what about the properties here? Bengaluru makes a new lifestyle statement as private branded residences become the new investment avenue in real estate. And the Tamil Nadu government makes solar power generation mandatory in buildings, but is it doing enough to crease out the implementation challenges? Markets first up in focus, uh, Bengaluru's Whitefield, Thanisandra and Electronic City. Joining us first on the phone line, Saket Saurabh. Hi, Saket. What's your question? Yeah, hi. Uh, my question is regarding a project called Bollyrani Silas in Whitefield, Hope Farm Junction area in Bangalore. Uh, actually, I've already booked that property, but I'm in dilemma whether that property is suitable for my investment or not because uh, there is not much online presence as well as uh, there is no SBA approval which the project has. So my query is that uh, whether this project is okay for investment or do I need to look any other property in the same area, Whitefield? Okay, Bolinini Silas in Whitefield. Uh, Saket has already oh. gone ahead and booked a flat here. Samir, uh, was this a good buy on his part? Well, uh, from our point of view, A, Whitefield is a good destination to make an investment into. Uh, it's been giving uh, analyzed returns of 9 to 10% uh, as such uh, year on year. The inventory overhang is 23 months. It's uh, below the danger zone of 24 months. And if you look at the uh, the uh, bearded average price is 4150 rupees a square foot. So BSPL infrastructure, Bolini uh, Silas is a project below the bearded average price of the market. Uh, it's situated, uh, as you know, in Whitefield. Uh, it's well connected to several key parts of Bangalore through the Old Madras Road and the Outer Ring Road. The developer has done highway projects, uh, so that is a little bit of a concern. It's, he's not a real, a real estate developer as such. The total land area is uh, manageable, 6.6 .6 acres. And the uh, project includes swimming pool, amphitheater, jogging track, basketball court, clubhouse with indoor games. So there are feature uh, amenities that are there and the location is reasonably good. It's uh, most of the social infrastructure is 2 to 6 kilometers away, including malls which are 3 to 5 kilometers. However, if you change your mind, uh, uh, there are two more recommendations that we have. Uh, one is Amruta Heights by Amruta Shelters at 3950, again similar price point. Although this is getting ready a year earlier in 2017, uh, this is located on Borwell Road uh, and the total land area is 2 acres. Uh, amenities here also include a swimming pool, gym, multi-purpose hall, uh, table tennis room, basketball court. And if you look at uh, the last project, Mahavir Promenade, it's a much cheaper project at 3350, but this is on the edge of Whitefield interfacing between Kiarpuram and Whitefield. It has 11 floors. Uh, again, amenities include a gym, swimming pool, toddler's pool, half basketball court, and the project work has started and recently and will be completed by mid-2017. The project is 6.6 uh, .6 kilometers from the ITPL main gate and IT zone and 2.5 kilometers from the Sai Baba ashram. Okay, Saket, if you do decide to reinvest your uh, property purchase uh, from Bolinini Silas, you could look at these options in Whitefield, which are in fact getting ready much before Bolinini Silas uh, by 2017. You could look at Amruta Heights by Amruta Shelters and Mahavir Promenade by Mahavir Reddy Structures. Okay, there's a question coming in from Shashank. Uh, he writes, uh, thanks for your informative show. My query is in relation to my intention of buying a 2 to 3 BHK home in Bangalore. Currently, I'm living outside India and would be returning early next year. I have a budget of 50 lakhs. As I work in the IT industry, I want to buy a flat close to Infosys offices, uh, either on Sarjapur Road, uh, HSR layout or Electronic City, Sarjapur Road. Uh, my budget is 50 lakhs. Kindly advise. Samir. 
Yeah, so Sarjapur Road and HSR layout will be expensive options for you. Electronic City on a price appreciation front has been doing very well. It's doing about 12% on an analyzed basis. Uh, it's got proximity to IT, the whole electronic city, which is an IT hub, which benefits this area substantially. The weighted average price is also 4,100 4, rupees a square foot. And the inventory overhang is 26 months. That's a little bit of a cause of concern for sales slowing down in Bangalore. But net net prices are still very affordable for the social infrastructure and the uh, area that electronic city is today uh, buzzing with uh, employment generation. The three recommendations that we have for you are the first one being uh, Alps presentation. This project is by Alps Prime Spaces. Price point of 3,900 rupees a square foot, getting ready by 2016. This project has decent amenities like clubhouse, multi-purpose hall, gym, table tennis, crash, swimming pool. Uh, price is about 48 lakhs plus registration. Then we have Concord Tech Surf. This is at 3,900 rupees a square foot again. Uh, project is located just off Electronic City, Phase 1 near uh, Wipro Complex. Uh, the project will be ready by first quarter 2016. Again, boasting of amenities like the gym, jogging track, clubhouse, indoor games, uh, etc. And lastly, we have Luminous Amaltas by Srivan Estates at 3500 rupees a square foot. This is a BDA approved project. There are two blocks, uh, namely Amaltas Elite and Amaltas Europa. Total land area is close to two acres. Uh, project is G plus four stories and will be ready by the end of 2015. There are 20 different amenities in the project. So these are three projects that you can consider to make your choice in Electronic City. All right, Shashank, Electronic City is it for you. Uh, within 4,000 rupees per square foot, you could get a good 2BHK. Uh, connectivity to the main centers of uh, city center of Hyderabad is also uh, present through uh, Electronic City because of the elevated toll corridor, the Hosu Road and the Nice Road. And of course, the upcoming Nama Metro connects Electronic City as well. This is a self-sufficient market, so it's an end-use decision for you. So it's important to know there is presence of decent physical and social infrastructure. The options for you, as recommended by Samir, Alps Pleasanton by Alps Prime Spaces, Concord Tech Turf by Concord Group, and Luminous Amaltas by Shrivain Estates. Sandeep Rajaram on the line with us. Hi Sandeep, uh, what's your question? Yes, uh, so I've actually shortlisted, uh, you know, an apartment on Henur Road. So uh, um, the complex is uh, it's called Plama Heights. So just wanted to know if, uh, you know, I can go ahead with the purchase. Plama Heights, uh, Bangalore, Henur Road. Uh, is it a good buy, Samir? Yeah, it's an uh, excellent location. Price is 6,000 rupees, although the weighted average price of the market is about 5,100. So you're paying a premium for the location. The project is also getting ready by 2016, located just 400 meters from the outer ring road uh, and can be accessed from Hebel and Nagwara. The project has great amenities uh, as well and it's uh, got a fully equipped gym. Uh, it has wooden flooring in the master bedroom, spacious clubhouse, squash swimming pool and toddler's pool. Uh, the project is uh, available directly with the developer. Looking at the key data points of Henu Road, 16 months of inventory overhang, very safe, price appreciation also very reasonable at 11.5% analyzed basis. We've shared the weighted average price for the mid-segment with you already at trading at 5100 rupees. There are two more projects that we can recommend for you, Orchid Woods uh, by Galaxy Developers at 5000. This uh, is uh, in Biozine and opposite to Salarpuria Gold Summit on Henu uh, Bangalore Main Road. Amenities like swimming pool with kids pool, jogging track, uh, basketball, practicing court, clubhouse are all there. Spread over three acres, this property comprises of seven towers and G plus 14 stories. Arg Helios by Arg Realty at 5350 rupees is located on Henur Main Road in North Bangalore. The residential development is surrounded by international schools and hospitals. The Sky Terrace uh, hosts an infinity sky pool, uh, sky lawns, yoga meditation centers and pagola decks with the uh, lounge seaters and a jacuzzi as well. Samir, 11% uh, annualized returns on Henu Road. What are the growth drivers for this micro market? Well, again, uh, the biggest growth drivers here is the employment generation, the commercial development that's happening. It's proximity to the Manita Business uh, Park, which is just five kilometers away. One of the largest employment generation hubs of Bangalore has done very well. It's proximity to the North Bangalore. It's, it's in North Bangalore. Right. North Bangalore, Bangalore is the emerging 
the key destination of Bangalore because of its proximity to the airport. So all in all, keeping all those factors in mind, uh, the city is shifting northwards because of the airport employment generation. and employment generation are the key reasons why uh, Henu Road is doing very well. And that's perhaps the only reason which has kept Bangalore quite steady even in the slowdown. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Sandeep, the options for you uh, also in Henu Road, you can look at those on your screen. Uh, there is Orchid Woods by Galaxy Developers and also Arge Helios by Arge Realty. Now with us, uh, Vishesh Kumar on the line. Hi Vishesh, where are you looking to invest? Hi Vasudha, I'm looking for 2 BHK in Sarjapur uh, and I came across two projects, uh, which is Mana Kamel and Concord Amber. Uh, but the problem with them are like uh, in Mana Kamal, there is a railway track which is behind, uh, which is still manageable, but uh, opposite is a BMTC depot, uh, due to which I am confused whether to consider it or not. And uh, also in uh, Concord Amber, I came across negative reviews in this project. For example, like uh, there is they, like, they delay in the position, fall promises, etc. So just let me know whether I can give a second thought on these projects or not. Also suggest some other project in Sajjapur or nearby places. I'm looking for maximum 60 lakhs for this 2 BHK. Please help me out. Okay, okay. so some reservations there about the location and some negative reviews in the market about Mana Carmel and Concord Amber. But Samir is here to review not only these projects but also the locations where they are located. Uh, Samir, what's your take? Well, uh, if you look at the Mana Carmel project at 3,700 rupees a square foot, the weighted average price of the market over there is 44.50. So it's below the weighted average price of the market uh, and primarily because of the reasons you mentioned, the bus depot coming in front and the railway track behind. Uh, so the prices have been discounted in, in some respect uh, or the other. Uh, so you're buying a cheaper project, it's going to be ready by end of 2015. So at that price point of Sarjapur Road, you typically don't get projects uh, at 3700 rupees on completion. Uh, the project is also having two blocks and built on G plus three stories. So it's a low rise. They are providing decent amenities like swimming pool, kids pool, landscape gardens, gymnasium. And it's, you know, the bus depot is not that much of a concern. There are a lot of IT parks coming around this area. So that is going to lead to employment generation as well. The RGA tech park, which is one of the biggest over there, is uh, going to be ready next year. So prices are going to start looking up because of employment of, you know, multinational employees moving into RGA tech park, which will drive prices up. Looking at the second recommendation of yours, Concord Angbar, uh, it's 46.50. The price point is too high and will cross your budget as well. So it's a two-acre project and uh, although you know the project has got delays, you're absolutely right, but it's getting ready in 2016 and when you're entering, you're just going to have to wait for a year, year and a half at the most. So, uh, you know, they are saying that they're going to be getting it ready by 2016 first quarter. That's, you know, less than six months away. But even if you add six more months on top of it, you're just getting your flat at one year. But again, the price point is too expensive. Let's look at the key data points of uh, Doda Canelli. 20 months of inventory over rank safe. Uh, 4450 being the weighted average price of the market and 10 odd percent is the analyzed price appreciation. Should you want to consider another project, we've been recommending this all along. Uh, Verdior by Trifecta at Doda Canelli at 3800 rupees. Uh, this is located off Sarjapur Road close to Primus School. The project will be completed by end 2015. Amenities of the project include swimming pool, gymnasium, barbecue area, well landscape gardens. And the project has good connectivity uh, to the key IT clusters such as Electronic City, ORR and Marathalli. Okay. So Samir, we've discussed a number of locations in Bengaluru, uh, real estate locations. I just want to understand from you, is uh, Bengaluru a market where developers uh, do delay ex execution of projects? Is this a market where, you know, issues like what NCR developers face? Well, uh, absolutely projects? not. Uh, it's, uh, you know, delays are there everywhere, but the quantum of delay in Bangalore is far lesser than uh, the quantum of delay in NCR region. Uh, primarily because A, it's an end user market, B, the developers sell stock, mostly large number amount of stock goes, uh, gets sold when the project is ready. So it's not in the developer's interest to delay a project consciously, mm -hmm. mainly because of it being an end user market and people want to see what they are buying as an end use product. 
So typically these are one-off cases where permissions get delayed or something. The other, the intent of a uh, south-based developer is not to delay projects typically. Okay. And now with the festive season coming up, uh, is momentum picking up in markets in the south? Unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, you know, the whole uh, real estate sector right now is uh, is going through a very tough time in terms of absorption, and uh, I don't think this uh, this uh, festive season is going to do very much. Although developers are going overboard by offering great schemes uh, yeah. and uh, subventions especially which uh, where the customer gets a lot of comfort but at the same time real estate as an asset class is not looking at that appealing and it's a good time to enter it if you're looking at it from a long term point of view and bangalore especially because employment generation is going to continuously happen uh, happen in this country in the it sector and bangalore is leading that pack uh, undoubtedly okay bangalore definitely leading the real estate investment momentum in india but revival still a long way on the cards okay moving on we'll stay with bengaluru owning homes in the city in high rises and ultra luxury communities has long been a lifestyle statement for bangaloreans but today they are looking at a new symbol of indulgence and that are private branded residences homes that deliver the look feel and services of a high end hotel lakshmi sevadas reports on how the it city is responding to this trend of branded residences commercial pilot vinod nikam loves to live life in style this unmarried 40 year old is always on the move has traveled to over 20 countries and from his visits believes that no price is too high when it comes to luxurious living which is why when it came to owning a home in bengaluru he found the typical luxury home a little too ordinary instead he picked the leela branded residence the idea of living in an apartment which is serviced by a top brand like leela is appealing so when i come back i need to have amenities around me i don't want to bother about small things i'm going to stay in an apartment which is uh, luxurious which is serviced where i don't have to bother about uh, things like basic services whether it is a valet whether it is a butler whether it is a meal of my choice today the branded residence is emerging as the natural choice for affluent bengalurians like the north unlike in premium homes developers in bengaluru are tying up with luxury hotel brands to offer the branded residence concept to home buyers developers currently offering the branded residence concept in bengaluru include Prestige Arrowhead Estates, the Embassy Four Seasons Private Residence, and the Brigade Group. Developers say that the ultra-rich in Bengaluru are eyeing the round-the-clock free access to a hotel's facilities, from concierge to security to access to restaurants and housekeeping. These are people who are globally exposed. These are people who know the value of services. Who say, "Hey, listen, we want to have a branded residence, which stands for modern Indian luxury, where we can get services." not only the basic services delivered at a very high uh, quality but also we want to be in a position to say if we, if we want a chef to come and whip up a dinner for 20 sudden guests who may have got in a chef's room the leela i want a place like that in bengaluru the average price of a branded residence is anywhere between 5 to 30 crore rupees for a 5000 to 7000 square foot home a pittance compared to mumbai and new delhi where branded residences retail upwards of 30 crore rupees for nearly half the size real estate experts say that this along with the opening up of the tech economy Which in is, bengaluru uh, is giving the city an edge over its peers when it comes to branded residences people were really going for these residences are either the ceos of the multinational it organizations which are there in bangalore plus a lot of successful startups which have come in bangalore because bangalore has become a mecca of of the startup industry in india so bangalore's new economy is going to play a very critical role in this particular segment and you can't ignore it and i think 50% of the sales in the branded residences are going to come from the bangalore's new economy The key to selling branded residences is exclusivity. Developers and brands are going all out to do this by hiring the very best of architects and designers to execute projects. From Bengaluru, Lakshmi Shivdas for NDTV. And with that we'll take a small breather on the south edition of the property show but when we come back smart investment options in Hyderabad for a 50 lakh budget. Also our top recommendations for residential investments in Chennai in 45 lakhs. 
and new on our property tracker today, esteemed alchemy in Bengaluru's electronic city.